Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Monday, November 2nd, 2020, and I'm Blair Phillips. Library hours for finals week, new grant money, last minute Trump and Biden rallies, and more coming up next on Texan TV. In campus news, the library has announced the hours they will be open for finals. The new schedule hours will begin after students return from Thanksgiving break on Monday, November 30th. That week, they will be open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. and Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And on Monday and Tuesday, December 7th and 8th, they will be open again from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. And Wednesday, December 9th, they will open at 7 a.m. and close at 5 p.m. To find out their hours during the weekend of finals week, be sure to check your Tarleton email. In local news, according to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, Tarleton State University was awarded $1.3 million in federal TRIO grants for students who wish to pursue their degree on the Stephenville campus. This money will be given to provide assistance to 140 first-generation Tarleton students, which will enable them to earn their diploma on time and with minimal amount of debt. This Student Support Services grant offers tutoring, academic coaching, mentoring, and financial planning, as well as assistance in the preparation for the competition in the job market or to pursue a degree in graduate studies. The program will start on Thursday, December 12th, November 12th. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. The number of coronavirus cases reported in Texas surpassed 900,000 on Saturday and more than 18,000 people in the state have now died due to COVID-19. According to the Texas Department of State Health Services, there were 6,845 new reported cases and 90 additional deaths in the state of Texas this week. The Health Department reported over 100,000 current active cases in the state, however, the true number of cases is in Texas is likely higher because many people have not been tested and people can be infected and not show symptoms. In national news, President Trump held five rallies in five states on Sunday in hopes of bringing in more votes. The states were Iowa, Michigan, Georgia, North Carolina, and Florida. This blitz comes after Trump hosted four rallies in Pennsylvania. With Election Day drawing near, Joe Biden is also pushing for black votes. Biden spent Sunday in Philadelphia and his running mate, Senator Camila Harris, was in Georgia in hopes to flip it. Early voting is now over, but you can still go to the polls and vote this Tuesday, November 3rd. In international news, the national lockdown in England may last longer than they expected if it does not successfully slow the wave of COVID-19 that hit the UK. The lockdown was announced on Saturday by the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and is supposed to run all the way until December 2nd. Under the new guidelines that were released, restaurants and bars will only be able to sell through takeout and all non-essential businesses will be reclosed. However, unlike the first lockdown in the UK, schools, construction sites, and manufacturing businesses will be allowed to remain open. This lockdown is being put in place a few days after the UK reached over 1 million coronavirus cases. For more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. President Trump on Sunday launched one final test of whether large crowds at his rallies will translate to victory this Tuesday. He's predicting a red wave of Election Day votes. Meanwhile, challenger Joe Biden spent his Sunday in Philadelphia urging black supporters yet to vote to show up in person despite the coronavirus pandemic. A man dressed in medieval clothing and armed with a Japanese sword was arrested in Quebec City Sunday on suspicion of killing two people and injuring five others on Halloween. Police said initial information suggested the suspect's motive was personal and not terrorism. 
Hundreds in Pakistan took to the streets Sunday in protest of French President Emmanuel Macron's stance on caricatures depicting the Prophet Muhammad. The renewed protests followed demonstrations across the Muslim world last week after the French leader in a television interview attempted to send a message of understanding. His office says his words were taken out of context. And more than 1,700 Mexican health workers killed by the pandemic are being honored with three days of national mourning that ends on Monday, including Mexico's Day of the Dead holiday. According to Amnesty International, Mexico has lost more medical professionals to the coronavirus than any other nation. Ben Thomas, Associated Press, with AP News Minute. In sports, the WAC released the preseason polls for Tarleton State's men's and women's basketball season. The men's basketball team came out as sixth on the coaches' poll, receiving 31 points, and eighth on the media poll, receiving 46 points. As for the women's preseason poll, they were tabbed at seventh and received 21 points for both the coaches' poll and the media poll. That being said, both teams are expected to start their seasons on January 8th against Grand Canyon. And now for weather, we turn to Kaylee Dowell. Hey Texans, today is going to be a high of 69 degrees with a low of 45 tonight. Tomorrow you can expect sunny skies with a high of 73 degrees. Stay safe and have a great day. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Charlton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 1230 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by the Texan TV staff. Have a wonderful day, Texans.